Hello, ladies and Mason here with another NASCAR Heat 4 video for you all. Once again, get, I'm very excited about NASCAR being back. So I'm doing some of these 2020 liveries for Darlington, for Charlotte. Just the excitement of seeing these new liveries has been fantastic. And today is going to be, once again, from the list that good old Matthew Cannonin sent me. Um, in the comments, you'll be able to see them. And it's for the Charlotte race the seventh race of the nascar cup series of the 2020 season and it's going to try and be alex bowman's noco car n-o-c-o -O. so it could be nuku noco some of like that <laughs> so what what we're going to do as you can see in the reference picture down below is basically i think it should be over here is going to be the reference picture and obviously you can see it's going to be the Chevrolet Camaro you start off with. So we go to the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series and get that Chevrolet Camaro ready to paint. And one of those, there we go. So I'm going to flick through and let's see what we, we can choose. Obviously, first of all, it's going to be a black car. It's going to be yellow outline with a white. And that gives us a rough idea um, for where we should go with this Civ3. That gives us a quickie um obviously really the main focus is we have that um we've got the stripe at the bottom but we've got a stripe across the hood so i'm curious is there anything we can do to do the stripe across the hood not hmm not entirely there um that's i think we could do some of that maybe but let's see if there's anything better um a snag so that takes up too much of the fit car we may be able to do something and this is really how what makes this difficult um that that we could we, we could work with as well so let's have a quick think um let me have experiment uh so let's try and make this black and maybe we can make this yellow and that gives you and we could make this white. Uh, so that's not bad. That's not a bad recreation, to be fair. So let's go through how we did that. So it's there's more to it. Don't worry. This ain't it exactly yet. So what we do, we go to the, to the far right. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across. Once we go seven across, you can see. Obviously, I've put the base paint and stripe one back. The base paint does the uh, rear of the car. You can see. It's now purple, we're not having that. And for this, I'm going to go for the stock black for good reason. Um, because there is no other alternative. Really, it's clear cut as that. If we go down here, you get a matte dark grey, but this car is a glossy black, so we're going to keep it that way. For this yellow, it is a goldy colour, so we could go up to here. Uh, we go to the customs to have a quick look, see what's available to us. Um... If we go up to the yellow, well, this orangey colour. How can I explain it? So there's your red. We go up one, two, and three. That's slightly more like the colour we try and make. Okay. So we knock it down to about here, I'd say. And that's the sixth from the bottom. Here, you could have it white, or we can try and replicate the, the same colour. So we could have that one, two, three, four, about there. But I think maybe it could be better as black. Um, let's have a see what that looks like. Yeah, we'll have that as black. Uh, so basically, the reason I've cho chosen this uh, specifically is because the bottom part of the car is gold, and it also has on the side of the car that sketch up, and you know it's. It's basically the best we can do with the imitations of the game. It, it's a bit of creativity. You can see where it comes from. It's not entirely there, but uh, in terms of what's available, in terms of what we've got paint scheme-wise, that's not all bad. So let's make this Alex Bowman's car by whacking the 88 on. We're going to choose 88B for this one. And as we go through, some of them, you've got some which have uh, a D, which is really good looks a lot better and i wish we could have that but maybe a nascar heat 5 which will be out later this year we can 
have some nicer numbers. Um, as we go through, we got 86, 87, and 88. And we're going to have 88, 88B, and we're going to have that in pure white. And look how much it pops out. That weave just show off really nicely, doesn't it? So, uh, in terms of wheels, we got the yellow ringed ones. Actually, they're gold in the pic in the reference picture. Have we got a gold one on here? We've got gold rims, which look pretty dang cool. Wouldn't mind them on my car, but... Yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to have them as yellow, because it's the best we can do, and it's going to be second from the left. There you go, it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? So, no coat, four letters, and short, sweet. Um, I say Brant, it's just the bold white writing. It's very simple, you see. Um, hmm... There isn't really anything that's similar. I say Procore may be a good shout as well, and I think that may be what we go for due to the fact it being um, one line across. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be our, what we're going to go for. So Procore it is. On the side, there is the Lumar sponsor and AXA. Axalta, sorry. So we can put Lumar there, and we can also put... Or we can choose Axalta. We can't choose both. So I'd say let's have a quick look. See, Axalta looks good. And where's the other one? What was it again? Mac not Mactos. It's the. Uh, I think she just said it. There, Luma. And I'll say Axalta because I prefer the way it looks. As you can see, if my big head isn't in the way when I edit this video. <laughs> Is you can see that basically on the rear edge of the car, the zoom is not easy to read. Meanwhile, even though you've got all these spots which are a bit easier to read, if I choose Exalter, you've got half a you know, it's, it's a lot worse actually. But I'm going to choose Exalter, I just prefer the look of that logo on there on the car. So that's what we're going to have. As for this next part, we've got sherrygoods.com. And have we got anything that's kind of long-winded writing like that? Pilot flying could be a good choice. Uh, safe light. There's nothing .com on here at all, is there? Um, once again, I hope for the next... Maybe China's Hospital for Children. But I may go Procorp due to the fact it being one line um, across. So basically you've got a choice of Procore or, or Pilot Flying. I'm going to choose Procore. Reason is it's a much bolder text. And it's just easier to read. Especially when the car's gone past. Um, so I'm going to have it on the deck lid and the rear TV. And the reason for that is the reference picture. It's very hard to tell what else there is on there. Uh, I'm just having a look at another reference picture. And you have got Noco on the uh, deck lid. Uh, I can't see a picture of the rear of the car, unfortunately. So, in my opinion, I feel that's going to be it. So, that's my recreation of Alex Bowman's no-co livery for the Charlotte race here in tw in the year 2020. So, let's go see what it looks like out on Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Coca 600. So here we are at Charlotte with this Alex Bowman's livery and... On track, it, it looks alright, to be honest. I really quite like it, to be honest. Uh, as you can see me spin out. By Newman. All in all, I quite like the V. It's menacing, that black, as it comes storming across here. It's, unfortunately, the camera angles aren't showing it. Well, there we go. Fantastic. Thank you, NASCAR Heat 4. And I like it. The gold's there. I think it's a shame. We've got the, uh, around the 88, we've got the... Uh, circular sort of around it, so but that's just me being picky. Uh, obviously, I'd like something across the bonnet uh, or the hood of the car. Um, obviously, being English, I called it a bonnet, and I know a lot of you guys of American who watch this uh, call it a hood, don't you? So, so I'm I'm a fan of it. I quite like it. So, and I hope you guys all did too. Yeah, you know, thank you for Matt for. Give me the short list for the uh, liveries for me to do. It's been a huge help. 
And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to subscribe. You know, if you are a viewer here who's, you know, liking my videos, please subscribe. We appreciate it. Um, but we're going to watch the last bit of this race as I jump straight to the inside, overtaking X Bowman, which is in the corner out there, to gain fifth place here at Charlotte for the Coca Cola 600. Like I say, this, was this has been recorded before the Charlotte race, so hopefully he gets he gets a bit higher than fifth, yo, know, in real life. So, see you all for the next video. Until then, enjoy some NASCAR Heat 4.